Zechariah is prophesying here in Zechariah chapter 4 actually works. And it works for his openly vulnerable, grace-dependent people to this day. So who on earth was Zechariah? Nobody's heckling now. <laughs> In Hebrew, you want some Hebrew, don't you? In Hebrew, the book is called Zechariah, meaning Yahweh remembers. God remembers. Zechariah was a Levite who was born in Babylon. You can chase it through Nehemiah 12. He was a son of Berechiah, the grandson of Iddo, the priest. I can give you lots of references later if you so wish. He's got a common name, but of course he's a priest. He's from a priestly family. But he was also a prophet because Zechariah 1 1, God calls him to be a prophet. You'll have come across Haggai in your readings of the Old Testament. This man is a contemporary of Haggai, the prophet. Zerubbabel was the leader of the Jews who'd come back to rebuild Jerusalem. Joshua was the high priest at the time. Unlike Haggai, he was an older man. Zechariah was probably a young man when he prophesied. You can see that in Zechariah 2 4. And his ministry ran with a fair degree of certainty from 520 BC to 518 BC. Probably onward from there because he was a younger man. But certainly we know about that 520 to 518 period. So the surrounding history ran something like this. This is the circumstance, this is the situation to which he prophesied. He prophesied during the first return from Babylonian exile. The people of God had sinned, they'd been carried away in captivity. In 538 BC, Cyrus was king of Persia. Cyrus said, you can go back. Haggai and Zechariah probably came back at the beginning of that return. Haggai and Zechariah prophesied and the temple was completed under Darius, sort of 521 to 486. <coughs> they restarted the, the offerings and sacrifices at the temple, the Levitical stuff that he had known all about. The foundation for the temple was laid. And then there was this resistance. Samaritan and Persian resistance ended the rebuilding of the temple for 15 years until 520 BC. Remember, Zechariah and Haggai prophesied from 520 when it began again through to 518. They're encouraging the people with this impossible task, with all this opposition, in all this weakness, with this terrible lack of resources, and being so few people. Zechariah is prophesying into that as the young man speaking for God. He was there at the beginning of things. It was a small looking but amazingly significant start. It just didn't look like it. And he was God's means for telling people, God is in this. God is at work here. It looks small, it looks strong, it looks pathetic. But it's got God behind it. 